gorgeous and welcome to the Masha Show. This is a place where we'll talk about our individual wellness journeys, body image as we age, intuitive eating, healing our emotions, healthy relationships, and so much more. My mission is to help other women in their 30s, just like myself, by bringing deeper, more important topics to life when it comes to health and wellness, honoring our bodies through movement, and madly falling in love with ourselves again. I hope you enjoy. Let's dive right in. Hi, beautiful souls. Welcome to another episode with The Masha Show. Today, we will discuss cheat meals, quote unquote, and how you might be cheating yourself. And this is the topic I chose to discuss today because I feel like a lot of people have a belief that they need to earn a certain cheat day or cheat day of the week or cheat day of the month in order to meet their goals. Uh, I would like to actually debunk that belief that it is not true. The most important thing I think for all of us is to be aware of what our body really needs. There's absolutely no service that you're doing to your body of nurturing it with beautiful foods every single day. Or if you choose to restrict yourself, that's of course your decision. But that's not how I roll (laughs) with me and my clients. We love to eat abundance of delicious, nurturing fresh foods every single day and that does not have to be boring it does not have to be bland it does not have to be just salads and smoothies and cabbage soups right and I know for a fact if you indulge yourself every Sunday or every Saturday with nothing but cheat meals all day or cheat days right that's definitely I don't know how you feel personally, and that's completely your decision. I don't want to judge anybody, but when I eat a bunch of junk food the whole day, eventually at the end of the day, my body just is so, it's almost like my body does not want even want want to be a part of it anymore. Like, what are you doing to me? I've been working so hard (laughs) trying to, you know, process these beautiful nutrients with these healthy meals. And now you're putting all this trash, all this gunk in my body. So what I believe truly is instead of cheating ourselves and our bodies out of health and nurture, nurturing ourselves with food, I think it's an important way to find things that uh, you enjoy eating that come from earth um, that are delicious And you would not have to get on that cheat day, right? So, I mean, most people, what do they crave? A donut, a McDonald's, right? I don't know whatever else the cravings are there for for most of people. For me personally, I crave chocolate and I still have chocolate, right? It just depends on the amount that you have, what time of the day you have it, and also what significance and importance you give to that cheat meal right or that treat Um, I think it's important to remember that our bodies are very wise they know exactly what they need and it's also too important to separate not just what our bodies need but also how our hunger cues and how our um, cravings are directed by our emotions like why do you feel the need to have that cheat meal I don't even call it a cheat meal because that puts a sense of guilt into my head. Like I'm doing something wrong, but I'm going to do it anyway because I earned it. And that type of mentality and mindset is not going to get you far. Um, Today I had two slices of pizza. I don't feel guilty about it at all. I don't have it every single day, but I also don't feel give it such a importance and glorification like, oh, I'm having my cheat meal, I'm having my cheat day, right? So instead of having cheat meals and cheat days, I think it's important to go back to your body and say, hey body, what do I really want right now? And why do I want it? What? How can I honor and how can I add nurture to my body right now? 
Maybe it's not even food. Maybe I just want to drink a glass of water to hydrate it, right? So it's important to have that conversation with yourself instead of just stuffing things down your body just because it's the scheduled cheat day to do it. I hope I made sense. Um, and if you are looking to get out of that cheat day, cheat week cycle, Hold on, wait, before you leave, I would like to share my free weight loss guide. It's in the description box below this episode or the video that you just watched on YouTube. It is specifically designed for women to uh, teach you how to sync your menstrual cycle with your diet, exercise, and lifestyle uh, so you can reach that healthy weight and maintain it. A lot of my clients use it and love it and they learn how to enjoy food, enjoy movement, and just have more um, pleasure in their lives. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to learn what it's like to work with me one-on-one as your guide to weight loss and better relationship with yourself, uh, please send me a message or you can reach me on Instagram at your guide Masha.